Hi, I'm Hannah and welcome back to our third episode of A Quarter of Dolce. This week I'll be talking about one of my favourite pieces in our repertoire, Damas Quartal for Four Flutes. Prior to discovering and learning this work, I don't think I'd ever come across the composer, so let me tell you a little bit about him in case you have neither. French composer Jean-Michel Damas was born in Bordeaux in 1928. The son of a harpist, his musical studies began at an early age, learning to play the piano from the age of five and learning to compose from the age of nine. Continuing his piano studies at the Paris Conservatoire, Damas won the Premier Prix in 1943. His composition works earned him first prizes in the Prix de Rome and they are widely recognised as attractive and elegant and remain close to the traditions of the Paris Conservatoire. Damas' flute quartet is a fabulous example of his attractive and technically challenging writing, but it's sadly rarely performed today. I love this music because there's something interesting in everyone's part. One of our favourite rehearsal techniques is to keep switching parts. It's such a great way to keep us on our toes and to really understand what's going on in every part and how that relates to ours. Do we pass the melody on to someone else? What is the harmony and what of section? And so on. When we return to our usual parts, it's like a whole new piece and we hear things in other parts in a totally different way. We know exactly which bits need bringing out, who we need to communicate with where, and where we can perhaps do more to really bring out an interesting harmony. When putting Damas together for the first time, this was so helpful. Each part is so intricate and beautiful in its own right. Here is a short extract from the first movement from a concert we did at St John's Church in Peterborough. Every time we play this piece together, I discover something new I love about it. I think for me, my favourite movement to play is the second movement. It's the perfect opportunity to show off the delicate and tender sounds of the flute. Sometimes we would overindulge a little bit, which could cause us to lose tempo. I really love trying to find the right balance between stretching out gorgeous long lyrical lines and making sure there's still enough flow in the music. Here's a little bit of the second movement so you can hear what I'm talking about. The third movement starts with a really cheeky staccato motif that we pass around the four of us. Coupled with plenty of time signature changes, this really kept us on our toes. The final movement marked Allegro Vivace gives the piece an exciting ending. Damas doesn't leave out moments of beauty though. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Keep an eye out on our Instagram stories next week. Grace will be continuing the practice diaries and we'll see you next time.